I'm Ted Osius. I was U.S. Ambassador to Vietnam from 2014 to 2017. Now I'm the President and CEO of the U.S. ASEAN Business Council, and I'm here at USIP for a conversation about war legacies with regard to the war in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. So there are three really big issues uh, that we've been dealing with since the end of the war. One is fullest possible accounting of those who were lost on both sides of the conflict. Uh, the second is cleaning up as best possible landmines, unexploded bombs, and ordnance. And the third is cleaning up dioxin, the residue left over from the production of Agent Orange. And we're still making progress on the first two. And recently, we've made uh, significant strides on the third legacy issue, the cleanup of, of dioxin. Uh, that's an unfinished, it's an unfinished process. Uh, but what I would say, kind of the overarching lesson from these three is that it's really important if you, talking about reconciliation, it's really important to be honest about the past, brutally honest about the past, and it's really important to do things together. And what Senator Leahy and others have taught us is that when you do things together that help get over a very difficult past, that brings trust and creates a new kind of relationship. The process of cleaning up dioxin is uh, not complete. There's a, still a big cleanup going on at Bien Hoa Air Base. But even when that's complete, and that's really the largest hotspot, it's the largest uh, site that where dioxin remains, uh, there are still many people whose lives have been forever affected by dioxin, by exposure to Agent Orange. And we have been honest about dealing with that in the United States for those veterans who are exposed to Agent Orange. But we've had much more trouble being honest about the many, many Vietnamese who are affected by dioxin. And we have started the process of, of uh, providing assistance to those who are affected by dioxin, uh, especially in the, the central provinces that were most heavily sprayed. But I think more needs to be done to, uh, for those who are, whose lives really were altered by exposure to dioxin. So today at the U.S. Institute of Peace, a lot of people have shared stories because reconciliation is about people. You know, the governments can reconcile, but really you need people to reconcile for it to be the process to be complete. But what I'm hearing more and more are people who are finding non-political ways to deal with the, the challenge of reconciliation, especially for the Vietnamese American community. The, those Americans of Vietnamese origin who are engaging in interaction with Vietnam uh, very often through, through art, culture, music, uh, telling stories, cuisine, fashion, are finding a kind of release and a way to kind of move beyond the past and think about the future in a different way.